Hello everyone, welcome to EPG Patashala. I am Dr. Vinuta, scientist at Division of Biochemistry, Indian Agricultural Research Institute that is IARI, New Delhi, India. Today I am going to talk about enzyme nomenclature and classification. In today's lecture, we will focus on understanding how the nomenclature of enzymes have evolved over a period of time. We will also look at how enzymes were classified and try to understand these classes in detail. The objectives under this modules includes history of enzyme nomenclature, nomenclature and classification of enzymes and different enzyme classes. The detailed concept map that will be followed in this lecture is first we will be going to study the introduction and history of enzymes. We will understand what are the general principles, common and systematic names and also the scheme of classification and numbering followed in the enzyme nomenclature. In the last section, we will study what are major enzyme classes namely oxidoreductase, transferases, hydrolases, lyases, isomerase, ligases and also includes limitations and problems associated with the enzyme nomenclature. The naming of enzymes was not systematic during 20th century. Enzymes were initially given trivial names in order to uniquely identify and distinguish them from the rest. Sometimes multiple trivial names were assigned to the same enzyme. There are different class of enzymes which were given the same name and conversely several names were given to the same particular enzyme which lead to the confusion and ambiguous discussions. In 1956, an international commission on enzyme was set up to study the problems related to the classification and nomenclature of enzymes and coenzymes. The commission attempted to devise a code of systematic rules for the nomenclature of enzymes. In general, the suffix ace was added to the name of the substrate as in case of urease or the name indicated the reaction being catalyzed, example glucose oxidase. However, several other enzymes were given the names that were not helpful. Such names gave no indication of either the substrate involved or of the reaction taking place. Rapid rise in the discovery of newer enzymes necessitated the development systematic methods for naming them. Otto Hoffman Osten of classified enzymes based on the number of molecules that are involved in the reaction during the year 1953. They proposed for the following three classes hydrolases, transferases and oxidoreductases. The second is lyases and synthases. The third is racemases. Malcolm Dixon and Edwin Webb classified enzymes into three groups depending on the type of reaction catalyzed. These were the hydrolyzing enzymes, transferring enzymes and other enzymes. Let us see the general principles of classification of enzymes. First principle is for single enzymes, the names of enzyme should end in ASC that is ACE. This should not be applied to the system containing more than one enzymes. Second principle is enzymes classification and naming should be based on the reaction catalyzed by them. The third principle is enzymes are divided into groups based on the type of reaction catalyzed. Let us see the common names and systematic names of enzymes. The common name follows immediately after the AC number it is normally used in literature. The systematic name which is formed more in accordance to the rules is more chemically used. The systemic name alone should help to determine the reaction catalyzed by the enzyme. Now we will see the scheme of enzyme classification and numbering. All enzymes are assigned as EC number. The numbering of enzymes contains four specific digits separated by periods. The enzyme number is preceded by EC. In 1958, 
the Enzyme Commission extended the earlier system of Dixon and Webb by classifying enzymes into six categories. The classification does not take into account amino acid sequences, protein structure or chemical mechanism. These are the different types of enzymes included which is given in the table. Let us talk about oxidoreductase. These are the enzymes that catalyze oxidoreduction reaction. The substrate that are oxidized are donors of hydrogen or electrons. Classification is based on the sequence that is donor, acceptor and oxidoreductase. Examples are peroxidase, catalase, polyphenol oxidase, lipooxygenase, ascorbic acid oxidase, glucose oxidase and alcohol dehydrogenase. Now we will see the class 2 enzyme that are transferases. These are the enzymes that catalyze the transferring a group. The group transferred for example methyl or a glycosyl group is from one donor to another acceptor. Examples of transferases are amylosucrase, dextron sucrase, transglutaminase. The third class of an enzymes are hydrolases. These are the enzymes that catalyze the hydrolysis reaction of various bonds. Some hydrolases may have a very wide specificity. While the systematic name always includes hydrolase, the common name uses name of the substrate with the suffix ase. Examples of transferases are invertase, chirophilase, amylase, cellulose, polygalactouranase, lipase, galactosidase and thermolysin. The class 4 includes lyases. These are the enzymes that lyse or cleave carbon-carbon, carbon-oxygen, carbon-nitrogen and other bonds. Bonds are cleaved not by the hydrolysis or oxidation but by other means. When lyases are acting on a single substrate, the product is an unsaturated residue after a molecule is eliminated. Systematic name includes substrate group equals lyase. Names like decarboxylase, aldolase and so on are used for the common names. Enzyme that eliminate water are called dehydratase. Synthase may be used in the name where the reverse reaction is important. Examples of lyases are pectin lyase, cysteine sulfoxide lyase. The class fifth involves isomerase. These enzymes catalyze isomerization within one single molecule. They catalyze isomerization reaction for example racemization, epimerization, cis trans isomerization and tatomerization. Examples are glucose isomerase and carotenoid isomerase. The last class of enzymes are ligases. These are the enzymes that catalyze the joining of two molecules along with hydrolysis of diphosphate triphosphate bond in ATP. The bond formed is often a high energy bond. First common name the term ligases is used. In a few cases synthesis or carboxylase is used. Example of ligase is hydroxycinamate coenzyme A ligase. Let us see what are all the limitations and problems. Isozymes are those that may exist in more than one form. Because of this, it is difficult to accommodate isozymes in any system of classification simply in terms of reaction catalyzed. For example, alcohol dehydrogenase in human liver has about 20 different isozymes, all of which are NAD dependent and oxidized primary alcohols. Hence, these are all grouped as EC 1.1.1.1. Species differences can also lead to limitations. For example, the class EC 1.1.1.1 includes NAD dependent alcohol dehydrogenases from all species. However, there is discrepancy since the alcohol dehydrogenases from mammalian liver and yeast enzyme may differ in structure and behavior. To summarize, 
Species differences can also lead to limitations. For example, class EC 1.1.1.1 includes NAD dependent alcohol dehydrogenases from all species. However, there is discrepancy since the alcohol dehydrogenases from mammalian liver and yeast enzymes may be profoundly different in structure and behavior. Classification in terms of function can be helpful if isozymes have distinct specificities towards their substrate. For example, liver glucokinase is now classified as a exokinase. Even though the name glucokinase is largely recommended for the enzyme with high glucose specificity. Thank you.